Good morning, everybody. Happy Tuesday. Don't mind my mouth. It's so dry. It's been so dry lately. I don't know if this is a pregnancy thing Hi. or what. Hi, baby. I was coming to you next. So, just a short vlog today. Hi, baby. I'm going to my first um, prenatal appointment for the second baby today. And um, that's River in the background. I'm about to drop her off to daycare and uh, have a productive day. Yesterday wasn't as productive, but today will be. Okay? And yeah, so I'll be taking you guys along. You're so cute. I love you. <laughs> first stop, breakfast. Oh, I gotta eat something before I have this. So hey guys, like I said, I'm taking you along with me today. Um, I have my first prenatal appointment um, and quite frankly, it's a little late in the game. <laughs> um, man, second pregnancy. It's just different because honestly, you kind of know what to expect with the appointments. With these first couple appointments, it's really them just measuring you, weighing you, and that's it. Um, I may ask them to draw my blood because last pregnancy I was fighting thrombocytopenia which means basically low platelet count so when you have low platelets that means like if I were to be cut or something like that um, then the blood wouldn't clot as fast and sometimes you can bleed out because of that so that's why I couldn't get an epidural with River last time um, because I didn't have enough platelets so you know they were scared that if they cut me that I would not be able to stop myself from bleeding um, but by the grace of God that didn't happen I still had the c-section um, and everything was fine but for some reason you also cannot have an epidural because of that I don't know how those two are connected I think maybe spine or something I don't know but I do want to test my blood this time around just to make sure. But I just pray that I don't have to deal with that again. Um, but, you know, if I do, you just basically fight it with your diet. And I found out pretty late in the game that I had that. So, yeah. Excuse me, y'all, while I order my food. Yes, Mason? How can I serve you? Um, may I have a number two with a, um, a Coke? Order. Yep, that's it. Do you want any sauces, honey, or jelly? Um, just ketchup. So I have a four time mini meal. It's going to be six twenty six around the corner. Thank you. My pleasure. Anyway, so um, yeah, guys. I was like, do I want to eliminate or a coke? But honestly, this pregnancy, I have been craving coke, and it's not the best thing. But it settles my stomach and makes me happy. So, what are you gonna do? nonetheless um yeah so um like i said i found out late in the game last time about the thrombocytopedia so um if i find out earlier then um i will eat the foods that are necessary and that are good for you so like beets and um just all kind of vegetables i don't normally eat but i can incorporate them in smoothies so i could fight that and keep my plate my platelets high so yeah guys i'm going to uh, my appointment is at 10 30 it's 9 30 right now I'm probably like 10 15 minutes away but I need my phone charger so I might go home to get that even though I don't want to decisions but I got stuff to do on my phone so I can't be chargeless nonetheless I'll see y'all later with my ashy lips like it's bad I'm just ashy like it just happens when I'm pregnant so yeah <laughs> see y'all later Bye. it is coke everywhere there is a hole at the bottom of my freaking drink yeah, so <sighs> yeah. Today has already been an adventure. Finally got home here, then I couldn't find my phone. So thankfully we have a business phone. I was able to call my personal phone. I hope y'all praying for me. Cause <laughs> I need it. I need it. And you would think, oh, she spilled a coke. Maybe that's a sign she don't need a coke. Absolutely not. I got me another coke. They gave me tons of napkins and pure old hand sanitizer wipes so I can get up the sticky stuff, they said. So that was that. Um, I'm looking for my confirmation of pregnancy because it was to be faxed over to my office, but 
at the time I didn't have the office number and as you can see I am um, a wee bit out of breath but I don't I don't know where I put it at and I should have put it in a place where I remember but pregnancy brain also doesn't help nor does this huge pile of paper so there's that appointment totally forgot my insurance card but I think it's the same as last time so hopefully I'll be okay with that <laughs> I gotta get pap today, and I was not planning on that. So, gotta do what you gotta do, I guess. So, you guys, my appointment is over. I um got blood drawn, and what else do I do? I asked some questions and got a pap smear. Didn't plan on getting a pap smear today. I was trying to see if they would let me push it, but. She wouldn't, so, um, I mean, I could have if I wanted to fight it, but I was like, I'm just gonna go ahead and get it done. I don't like them, but that was actually one of the easiest pap smears, probably, I mean, only been having sex for, like, six years, and this is my second kid, so they should be easier, right? <sighs> Nonetheless, um, guys, I have some good news! Oh my gosh! So, despite what people have been saying... My hospital allows for VBACs, and I am so excited. When I asked my um, my nurse midwife about, you know, my hospital's views on VBACs, she was like, we encouraged them. Like, honestly, only 1% or less of women get uterine up, uh, ruptures whenever they um, try for a VBAC. So, um, is not very common and of course there's some stipulations like depending on how like the reason why you got a c-section and how you were cut determines if you are eligible for one but in my mind and what from i heard and from what i heard so many people were like no there are no doctors who will allow for v-bags and all these different things now mind you I think that the risk and the likelihood of having another cesarean after having the first one is probably pretty high, but at least I know that it's possible. I'm okay with either or, um, but it makes me happy to know that, you know, I get that opportunity to at least try. Like, my physicians and my midwives are open to the idea and they will allow me. So, you know, if I go into birth earlier than um, my due date or my scheduled due date, then well, like 41 weeks or whatever, then, you know, they'll allow me as long as the baby looks good, I look good, it's fine. So, honestly, that makes me happy. It's cool to have that possibility, but like I said, I'm okay with a C-section. What I do not want is induction, because if it don't happen naturally, baby, just cut me open, because induction is like a beast. Like, don't artificially try to have a baby in the sense of birthing one. <laughs> trying to artificially start the process of labor and delivery that's what i mean you know i'm for ivf or whatever if you um i having trouble having kids but um as far as birthing yeah i do not believe in induction i absolutely hate it not that i don't believe in it but i i hate it for myself because i had a bad experience and i tried probably three types of induction so i don't want to i just rather you cut me than try to drug me up again and I don't have to pay for all those drugs. Nonetheless, that was good news, guys. And now I'm about to go grocery shopping. I don't want to, but I am. And uh, yeah, so I'll see you in the grocery store. Bye. So, my grapes. I'm the only one that just got about to get all these to get like fresh, untouched stuff. <laughs> Hey y'all, so I am back at home. I wish I would have got the beginning of it, but I already started putting away the groceries. I'm so excited about those cherries. During this pregnancy, like fresh fruit is my thing. So I've been eating a lot of um, grapes and cherries. I've been eating them more bananas too because I kind of was done with bananas. But uh, I've been eating more of that too, so. I'm doing that. I'm trying to make this day very, very productive, but I feel like although I've done some productive things, I could have done better. But nonetheless, the day isn't over, and um, yeah, so we're going to go with that. Yeah, 
so i'm gonna wrap this up then i'll probably be wrapping up the vlog soon um so i can finish getting stuff done get this vlog out to you guys and i know i want jared and i to record another um marriage money and motivation uh video i think we're gonna do it on pregnancy because people should know how pregnancy affects your marriage, how it affects your money, and how it affects your motivation. I think it's really relevant. So I think we're going to do that and then we'll get back to the words that um, you guys had suggested already. So yeah, guys, actually, I am going to just end this vlog right here. I love you guys so much. I hope you enjoyed. I think I talked about the V-back already. I think I did. Um, so yes i love you guys and i don't know i love y'all <laughs> so you have a good one talk to y'all later bye oh hasta luego